was a really young child growing up in Muskegon, Michigan. This would be the early 60s. I was born in 1957. My father had been sexually abusing me as far back as I can remember. And he often bragged of substituting his penis for my mother's nipple while I was an infant. So my sexuality was heightened from a very, very early age. And I also developed what is known as dissociative identity disorder. It was formally termed multiple personality disorder, but has since been redefined because it's not multiple personalities, but the shattering of a personality and a compartmentalization of memory, of trauma, too horrible to comprehend. Childhood sexual abuse is certainly too horrible to comprehend. There was no place for that in my mind. This compartmentalization of memory was what the government was interested in because they figured that if a person couldn't think to bring to mind abuse, they wouldn't be able to think to bring to mind government secrets, government perversions, or anything else they wanted compartmentalized in the brain. My experience as a mind control slave on a White House Pentagon level was extreme. I was totally robotic. I had no capacity to think for myself. I didn't have any free thought whatsoever. I didn't even have the ability to question, to reason, or consciously comprehend what I was involved in. Activity, um, with very limited experience with him myself, whereas my experience was much more uh, prevalent with Hillary Clinton because Hillary is also uh, bisexual, leaning more towards a homosexual end, and it was she who accessed my sex programming to fulfill her perversions. In her book, Transformation of America, Author Kathy O'Brien claims that she was the victim of a mind control program run by the CIA. She claims that George Bush Sr. used ancient magical hand signals to directly control her subconscious mind. She also claims that Bill Clinton was under mind control. In covertly recorded off-air transmissions from the Bush-Clinton presidential election campaign in the 1990s, we can see that Bill Clinton was nothing more than a puppet to the puppet masters which placed him in the White House. Bill Clinton's demeanor seems to be similar to a person who is under a hypnotic trance. My name is Bryce Taylor and I'm a 48-year-old native Californian. My multiple personality condition resulted from what I had first thought in 1986 was solely sexual and ritual abuse. But as I began to remember and heal more of my hidden past, I realized that ritual abuse was merely the mind control trauma base my pedophile father and others used to condition me for participation in Project Monarch, the Central Intelligence Agency's white slavery operation. Mind control sex slaves are created by um, starting with a child from birth and inducing trauma which for me was done in the form of being sexually abused and then being satanically abused. I was put through a trial of satanic rituals which means um, there were blood rituals done where I was forced to witness um, animals and people being sacrificed. We were taken down the basement and it turned into um, kitty porn where we were being filmed. I was an FBI agent for 27 and a half years. Bryce Taylor's story has been confirmed 
over and over again through my various sources. Judges, law enforcement, prosecutors, attorneys, doctors, and many, many prominent individuals, including actors, actresses, professional football and baseball players, are involved in these type activities. Among them were John F. Kennedy, Lyndon Baines Johnson, Nelson Rockefeller, Henry Kissinger, Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, and top entertainment professionals such as my owner, Bob Hope. Then I was prostituted or they would make some pornography or something. The theme of the pornography uh, filmed by Sylvester Stallone was um, sex with dolphins. They filmed us over, t over years with all sorts of animals. If you go back uh, 225 or 30 years ago, you have what we call the Illuminati that was established uh, in 1776. And the goals of the Illuminati, this is all very well documented, are to take over the world. One of the best ways of taking over the world is to control people's minds.
Joyous delight. year. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family. Mm -hmm. A breakup. This spasm of publicity about what happened in, from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Ah, weird. Hello. Oh. oh my goodness. Hello. Ew. Strong ready. Um, yeah, it was a weird. Ew. I'm embarrassed. Can we? 